mild December, local greenhouse owners couldn't be happier right now, but for some farmers, there is a concern. Outdoor plants are already blooming here in western New York. They already think it's spring. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley find out, found out rather today that this really could be bad news. I think in any farm being growing business, you are. You're at the mercy of what the weather does. When it comes to Mother Nature, it can often be a situation of good news and bad news. Right now, local greenhouse growers say the mild winter temperatures are great news because they're saving thousands of dollars in heating costs. Oh, love it. <laughs> and those savings are helping offset huge bills run up by weeks of extremely frigid weather earlier this year. Profit margins are very small for plants, and farmers feared they were going to have to absorb the monstrous heating costs themselves. Just looking forward to one of those no ups, downs, up, downs. This will just be a better heating year. But with December on track to become the warmest ever, farmers might actually end up in the green for this year's heating cost. Uh, we're just kind of loving it. Spring flowers are already starting to come up inside local greenhouses, but outside plants are also blooming, and that has garden centers like Lockwoods and Hamburg fielding calls from lots of worried homeowners. We have been getting calls. Lilacs are blooming. Um, tulips, daffodils are coming up. So um, really the advice we have is there's nothing we can do about it. Lockwood says most blooming plants will survive winter weather when it finally gets here, but people will probably see the effects next spring. The tulips, daffodils will probably rebloom in the spring. Lilacs, um, flowering trees probably won't rebloom, but it won't kill the tree. And even wrapping plants won't change how they behave in springtime. Cherries are blooming, um, and again, they're probably not going to rebloom. Some years you have good years, and other beers you have things like this that you're going to be challenges. The warm weather is also helping some farmers finish repairs to greenhouses destroyed by seven feet of snow during the November storm. But those same farmers are keeping a watchful eye on Lake Erie, knowing full well there could be an even greater potential for powerful lake effect snowstorms in the coming months. Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Ed.